Welcome back to Airgun Academy, the series that helps you find the right airgun for your needs. In our last episode, we looked at dot sights. For this episode, we're going to take a look at lasers and how they can be used as a close range sighting device. Lasers are not exactly sights. The military calls them designators, but you can use them as sights because of how the laser works. A laser is a concentrated beam of light that doesn't spread out noticeably as it travels. If it starts as a pinpoint of light, that's what it'll look like even from many yards away. If you adjust the laser to coincide with where your pellet strikes, all you have to do is shine the laser on the target and shoot when the light is on the spot where you want the pellet to go. Though laser light will travel a very long distance, you will not be able to see the light from very far away. How far you can see it depends on many things the brightness of the surrounding light, the reflectivity of the target, the intensity of the laser beam, the color of the laser. Red lasers are the cheapest and most common sights. They're also the hardest to see on a bright day. Green and blue lasers are more powerful and can be seen in brighter light, but they're also a lot more dangerous to use. A laser beam can seriously impair your vision and injure your eyes. A beam can reflect back at the shooter at full intensity if it hits a reflective surface. Remember, all lasers are dangerous for your eyes, so never look into a laser for any reason or shine a laser beam at anyone's eyes, and that includes pets. In fact, laser beams are so potentially dangerous that it's illegal to shine a laser into the sky because it might hit an airplane. Believe it or not, the FBI will investigate such acts and the penalties can be severe. The type of lasers that are legal are not useful for sights beyond a short range. For air guns, they can turn of 20 yards or less. However, since you can mount a laser in a scope or a dot sight on the same air gun, you can use that laser to augment both in close range shooting. There are several different methods of mounting a laser. All of them are pretty straightforward. This one attaches to the tube of a scope like this. Unlike a dot sight, the laser is not left on for any length of time. A pressure switch allows the shooter to turn the laser on and off as needed, so the battery lasts a lot longer. Many lasers have small Allen screws for their adjustment. They do that to keep the overall size of the laser small but it also means that you need a tool to adjust the laser. The adjustments are the same you'd find on a scope or a dot sight. Read the owner's manual to see which way to turn the adjustment screws to adjust your laser. You'll notice two things right away when shooting a rifle mounted with a laser. First, no matter how steady you try to hold the gun, you can never remove all the movement. The laser shows this very plainly. 
second thing you'll notice is that no matter how accurate the rifle is and how good of a shot you are, the pellet won't always go exactly to the laser dot. No matter what you do, the pellet will sometimes stray off the dot a little. It may be sighted in as good as it can be and still slightly miss the laser dot. This is something that you have to get used to when sighting a laser. If you're sighting a gun at a very close distance, this issue isn't as drastic as if you were shooting further away. A trick to get past this is to always put the laser dot on a small target, such as a bullseye about the size of a pencil eraser. Then, shoot three shots with the same setting before you adjust the laser. Use the center of the group as your reference point for where the rifle is really shooting. The object is for the pellet to go to the laser dot at whatever distance you decide to sight the gun. I recommend you don't sight much farther than 20 yards, because a laser dot can be difficult to see on a bright day. As always, be sure you wear safety glasses when shooting any gun. And that's all there is to using a laser as a sight. Let's recap the main points from this episode. Lasers can be used like sights at short distances. 20 yards and closer is the best range. Laser beams are dangerous to your eyes, so special handling is required, specifically be careful when pointing lasers at reflective surfaces. Never point a laser at anyone's eyes, including those of animals. Never point a laser into your own eyes. Never point a laser into the air toward an airplane. Lasers come in different colors. The most common and least powerful is red. Green is more powerful than red. And blue is the most powerful available to the public. Lasers work in conjunction with other sights, and they must be sighted in for different distances. Lasers often require tools for adjustment. Even when your gun is sighted in perfectly, the pellet won't always hit the laser point. Keep on watching, and we'll help you find the right air gun for all your shooting needs. And check back for more episodes that deal with all types of air guns for a variety of uses. Thanks for watching Airgun Academy. Stay tuned for another great lesson from Pyramid Air.